Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Welcome to LES Matches TV. On this channel, we focus on everything early childhood related. If these are the kind of videos you're looking for, what do you have to do? Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so that whenever a video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. Today, I'm going to be talking about social development in early childhood. Yes, today's discussion is going to be all about social development in early childhood. For the past few weeks, I've been looking at holistic development in early childhood. I looked at physical, intellectual, language, emotional development in early childhood. Today's discussion is going to be all about social development in early childhood. You might be wondering, what is social development in early childhood? Social development in early childhood is all about the young child being able to socialize with people and things around them. Yes, social development is all about the young child's ability to be able to socialize with people and things around them. So in relation to social development, it's also all about the young child being able to interact with people around them. Yes, being able to interact with their peers, with their parents, with the educators, with the people in their community, and also with things around their community. Yes, this is also important as well. You might be wondering, things around their community, don't worry, I'm going to explain. So for instance, if you bring a child to the park, and then a child is looking at leaves, maybe the child is feeling the texture of the leaves. This is also all about social development as well, because the child is just looking at the leaves, is feeling the texture of the leaves. So there's social development going on there as well. You might be wondering, well, so non-living things also contribute to the social development of the young child. Yes, it does. So if they're going around, for instance, if they're busy looking at cars, you know, looking at things going on about their community, it's all about social development as well. And also when they're interacting with their peers, you know, talking to their peers, playing with their peers and their parents, this is also social development in early childhood as well. Now, let's Let's talk about some of the activities that you could use to promote social development in early childhood. So it's important that you encourage the young child to always play with their friends. Yes, encourage them to engage in corporate play. So what do I mean by corporate play? They are all playing together. So when they engage in corporate play, somebody might say, okay, I'm going to be the one scooping. You're going to be the one mixing. So they are delegating tasks and they are going to be talking to themselves. Okay, don't worry, Florence, you go get the rake now. I'm going to scoop the sand into the bowl. So it's all about social development. They are talking to their peers. Even when they are engaging in free play, they might be talking to themselves alone. And you might be wondering when they are talking to themselves, is there social development as well? Yes, it's social development because when they know if they are talking to themselves, they are still interacting with things around them. For instance, if a child is scooping, there's social development going on there. If a child is mixing, so they are not doing things on their own, even though they might be the only one playing, but at least they are using objects, they are using resources, they are using materials to play. So true play, social development is being enhanced. So I'm going to encourage you as parents, as early childhood ed educator, incorporate different types of play. Parallel play, corporate play, free play. So different types of play that can promote social development in early childhood. Another way you could promote social development is also true story sharing. Yes, you're sharing stories. Ask the children questions. When you're asking them questions, they're discussing with you. They're interacting with you. You ask them open-ended questions. They are going to answer you. They're in the midst of their friends. So another way you could also promote social development is through circle time. Yes. So my reader don't know circle time. What is circle time? It's just simply gathering the children around the circle, like the name implies. So the children sit in a circle, and you as the educator as well, you sit in the circle with the children. So you could start by introducing few songs, you know, songs that will just make them to be relaxed. They can sing this, this together. And then you start to ask them questions. You could ask them questions such as, how was your day? You know, what did you play with at home? So this also is incorporating social development as well because they're in the midst of their friends they are in your midst as well you're asking them questions they are answering you they are playing together so social development is all about the young child being able to interact being able to socialize and they can also do this through their non-verbal expression as well in terms of socialization it doesn't have to be only true words. For instance, if you're reading a story, if they're enjoying the story, they are going to be laughing as well. So this is also part of social development, laughing, giggling. It's also part of social development because they're expressing themselves. And you also need to understand that we might have infant toddlers that might not be able to express themselves using words. 
but they can do this through their facial cues. If they're enjoying the story, they are laughing, they are giggling, they are smiling. So this is also part of social development as well. They're interacting with you. They're interacting with people around them. So there are just few activities that you could use to promote social development in the area of early childhood. If you know of other activities as well, please leave this in the comment below and we hope be able to learn. And until I come your way next time, stay safe. So now, bye.